Doc McStuffins. Snowman Surprise. Disney Press. It's a beautiful winter afternoon, and Doc McStuffins is playing in the snow with her toys. I just love when it snows, Doc exclaims. Me too, says Stuffy the Stuffed Dragon. I love everything about snow. Just then, a clump of snow falls from a branch and lands on Stuffy's head. Except that. Chilly, Doc's stuffed snowman is excited to spend time with a real snowman. Come on, you can tell me. You get cold sometimes, right? I know I d- do, Chilly says with a shiver. Doc giggles and reminds Chilly that unlike the real snowman, he has to bundle up in the cold. Soon, Doc's dad calls for her to go inside. Doc scoops up Chilly, Lammy, Hallie, and Stuffy and walks to the house. Once inside, Doc gets out of her wet clothes. Her boots, mittens, and scarf are easy to take off, but she needs a little help getting out of her jacket. Doc runs upstairs to do her homework. Her dad takes her wet clothes to the laundry room. Neither of them notices that Chili is missing. After dinner, Doc's brother Donnie shows off the diorama he made for school. It's a winter scene, explains Donnie. What do you think? Doc takes a look. You know what it could use? A snowman. Do you want to borrow Chili? That would be cool, says Donnie. Doc goes to her bedroom to get Chili, but she doesn't see him. She holds her stethoscope until it glows, making her toys magically come to life. Have you seen Chili? Doc asks Stuffy, Hallie, and Lammy. I know I brought him in the house. Everyone looks around. No Chili. Let's have a search party, suggests Hallie. Doc and the toys sneak downstairs. You guys check the living room, Doc says. I'll go to the laundry room. Lammy peeks under a couch cushion. Hallie looks inside a cabinet. Stuffy peers behind a curtain. No chili. Chili, are you down here? Doc calls into the laundry room. There is no answer. Then, just as Doc leaves the room to continue her search, her stethoscope glows. The red scarf starts to move. Doc, you there? Chili asks as he crawls from underneath the scarf. He tumbles off the shelf and lands on the floor with a thud. Oof! I hope I didn't break any bones. Chili says to himself. Oh wait, I don't have any bones. Then he notices his arms. They look a bit different. Chili rushes into Doc's bedroom. Maybe it's not so bad, he says, trying to calm down. He nervously peeks at the mirror. It's worse, he shouts. I'm pink all over. Chili hears Doc and the others heading his way. Oh no! They'll laugh at me if they see me like this. He runs and hides. I'm worried about Chili. Where could that snowman be? Hallie asks as she and the others enter Doc's room. No need to worry, says Chili. Here I am. Doc and the toys turn to see Chili's hat peeking from between some books. I'm just tidying up back here, he explains. Well, I have exciting news, Doc says. Donnie needs a snowman for his project, and he wants you. You're perfect for it. Chili is thrilled that Donnie and Doc think he's the perfect snowman, but he's not perfect now. He's pink. As Doc gets closer to the bookshelf, Chili jumps into the laundry basket. When he climbs out, he's wearing one of Doc's socks. Brrr! It's chilly in here, he says. Doc kneels down. Chili, is something wrong? She asks. Maybe I should give you a checkup. Chili leans closer to Doc and whispers, "There is something wrong, but I can't show you in front of everybody." 
Jock asks Hallie, Stuffy, and Lammy to give them some privacy. Okay, we're alone, says Jock. And you know you can tell your doctor anything. So what's going on? Chili takes off the sock. This is the worst thing you've ever seen, right? Doc reassures Chili as she examines him. Everything's okay, except your color has changed, Doc says. I think you have a case of pinkatosis. But don't worry, I'm going to fix you. I hope so, Chili says with a sigh. Donnie needs a perfect snowman. And right now, I'm not perfect at all. Just because you're different doesn't mean you're not perfect, Doc declares. Now, can you tell me what happened? Chili starts to cry. I have no idea. I woke up in the laundry room under your snow clothes, and I was pink. That's it, Doc exclaims. Dad must have washed you by accident. And the red color from my scarf rubbed off on you. We can get you cleaned up whenever you want. Chili wants to tell everyone that he's okay. So he and Doc go over to the other toys. No matter what color you are, we love you just the same, says Hallie as his friends hug him. Chili is starting to like his new color. Do you think Donnie would mind a pink snowman in his project? He asks Doc. Let's find out, she says. Doc shows Chili to her brother. A pink snowman? Cool, says Donnie. No one else is going to have a pink snowman in their project. The next day, Donnie rushes home with great news. Guess what? He shouts as he hands Chili to Doc. My teacher said using a pink snowman was very creative, and she gave me a gold star. I'm so proud of you, Donnie, Doc tells her brother. And I'm proud of you too, she whispers to Chili. A little later, Doc and her toys go outside to play. Chili shows the real snowman a photo of himself with a gold star. You know, no one should be afraid to be different, Chili says. Doc walks over and smiles. Ready for Dad to clean you now? She asks. Chili nods. Pink, red, green. It's not the color that makes you a snowman. It's the snow. Or, in my case, the stuffing. <laughs>